Welcome to RT Bros Trading Academy, where we focus on only the charts because whales will manipulate the news and fundamentals in order to take your money. Now, it's been about two days since we did a massive market update, and I was one of the very, very few people who was actually bullish back then. So we're going to go ahead and do an overview as to why I was bullish and what has played out since then. And of course, what do we expect going forward? So let's go ahead and dive right in. And so right here, as you guys can see on this video I released two days ago, we were actually bullish. We drew a falling wedge. We were in this uh, daily breaker. And I was like, guys, I know there's a lot of uh, uncertainty in the market with Ukraine and all the other craziness going on. But like if you only focus on the charts and not the news, like right now, you really should be bullish. And so sure enough, we actually did get a pretty massive pump, as you guys can see. So we're right here, and we have pumped up. We've pumped up around 10%, give or take, since that uh, since that video was released. That's not that bad. And even more importantly, our altcoins have actually had a lot more of an increase. So as you guys can see, falling wedge into a central apex, and we have shot up from that. Now, the other reason why I was bullish down here is because we had this daily breaker, right? And everyone was ignoring this daily breaker, but we came down here, tagged it for the first time because all of here was got close, but never actually touched it. We touched it for the very first for the very first time, in which case it launched us to the upside because breakers are exceptionally important and should not be underestimated. So now we are currently testing a breaker above us, which is a monthly breaker, okay? This is a monthly level once again, and this is the key level that we really need to be very cautious about, okay? This monthly level is something that should not be ignored. Now, there's also a level right here. This is the yearly open, okay? Yearly open. On this chart on Coinbase, it's 46221 are $46,221. Once we get up to this point, or if we do get up to this point, this should act as a major resistance. Now we have gotten close, but we never actually tagged it. So I would not be surprised one bit if we come up here, tag it, and then drop. The important thing is if we do get up to this level, which I do think is quite likely, we need to see what happens, right? If we do start to show some bearish pressure and we do, we do start to drop, where are we going to find support? Well, ultimately, I think we are going to fall to this level. If this does, if this is not, uh, if we're not able to reclaim this, I think we are going to fall to this level. But it is exceptionally important, exceptionally important that we come down here and this four-hour level holds. And I, I brought up in the last video and showed exactly how important it is. And boy, guys, it is exceptionally important. Okay, I just cannot overstate it. If this level does fall, it's going to get very, very nasty for all of our coins, not just Bitcoin. All right. Um, so if we are able to get to the yearly open and we're able to actually hold above that level, that will be a very bullish sign, right? So ultimately right now, I do expect us to pump up here to the yearly open, but the important thing is what's going to happen when we get to this level, right? If we start showing some bullishness here, that's a really, really good sign. However, if we do start showing some bearishness here, I'm going to go ahead and take additional profits so that we uh, can possibly buy back in down here at the four hour breaker. OK, these are the two primary levels. So forty six thousand two hundred and twenty one dollars and also around thirty nine thousand. This is the ultimate. These are the two levels that I'm really, really looking at. I might be interested in another buy down here, but ultimately above here, uh, above here is a strong buy. And also at this level is a strong buy, right? Those are the two things I'm really, really looking at. All right. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and, and look at the overall time frame of what my expectations are. Guys, this has not changed, okay? We're going to come up here. Eventually, this may take a long time, but ultimately, I'm expecting us to get up to this region, 53,000 to 58,000. Once we get up there, this is my sell everything zone, right? It is the three-day level of uh, the three-day breaker, and we have a three-day point of breakdown, and this is also the golden pocket retracement of this entire drop. There is a lot of confluence as to why I will be bearish at this level. Now, the one more level you need to be aware of as well is we have the 200 moving average right here at around $49,500. Um, this is going to fluctuate. It's going to go up and down a little bit based upon the, uh, the, the most recent price action. Um, but just be aware that this 200 moving average is another key level I'm looking at to take some profits. All right, so next one that's going into is the uh, 
uh, the Bitcoin dominance chart, guys, the Bitcoin dominance. And I was mentioning last night on the Discord server how we have a very key level I was looking at. It's right here. This is a, a four-hour support level, okay? There's a breaker, or it could also be a point of breakdown depending on how you're looking at it. Um, either, the important thing is, is there's a lot of uh, resistance here, right? This is like a very key level of support. And as you can see, it acts as a very strong resistance level as well on the way up. So we tapped it, we got close, we got close, we tapped it, we broke above with conviction. Now we're coming back here for a retest. So because this level is a key level, this is expected to act as a support level until it is lost. So right now, the altcoins are actually in a pretty precarious situation uh, compared to Bitcoin. Okay, so right now, the Bitcoin dominance chart is on a support level, which means that Bitcoin is expected to do better than altcoins until we actually get below here. Now, once we do get below here, that's going to be a really, really positive thing for us. Okay, guys, our altcoins will really have a lot of uh, strength going forward because the only other level we have next is a weekly level down here. And then we have a lot of free space all the way down here. Okay, and this can make a massive if we do start dropping down below here. This will give our altcoins a ton of strength, okay? Just like how our altcoins got absolutely wrecked on the way up. If it starts falling down, this will give our altcoins a lot of strength relative to Bitcoin, okay? This will be a really, really good thing for us. Now, this weekly breaker is still acting as a resistance level, which is what we were expecting to see. And um, which is what we want to see, guys. This is this is really what we want to see. We want to see this act as, as a key level. Um, we did go ahead and close that candle as a bearish retest. So far, it looks good. Uh, but we're definitely not out of the woods yet, right? Once we lose this for our breaker, that'd be a really, really good sign. Now, another key level on this as well is going to be our 200 moving average. And as you guys can see, we are now above it and we're coming back into it, right? So the four hour level right here. We also the 200 moving average. The point is, this is a very, very dangerous spot for altcoins, guys. Okay, very dangerous spot for altcoins. It does not mean that the altcoins have to drop necessarily, but relative to Bitcoin, you would expect Bitcoin to do better than the altcoins, right? So, um, that basically explains my expectations are for Bitcoin dominance. Over here, this is the total three chart, right? This is a total three. This is the um, all the cryptocurrency combined except for Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? So this is all your uh, your legitimate altcoins, right? Solana, ADA, and all your, your, your little garbage coins, all the shit coins that are in existence, right? They're all included in this one. So if it's not, uh, if it's not Ethereum or it's not Bitcoin, it's in here. So on here, we have some things to talk about as well. Um, the key levels that I'm looking at is right here. It's actually an eight-hour breaker. Let's go ahead and pull that up. Eight-hour breaker right here. And as you guys can see, we came back up here and we've tested it as a resistance level. So very key level of resistance. Just like down here, we have another eight-hour level. Act as a very strong level of resistance. Now we came back up to it. And so now we're sort of just ranging between these two levels, okay? If we're able to get above here, this would be a very bullish thing guys i i cannot stress it enough um i you got to see where bitcoin dominance is at this point but if we do start showing some bullishness and get above this eight hour level this is going to be something that could propel us a lot higher on a lot of our altcoins right so um i am i have 16 altcoin plays i'm about to post in my discord server uh for the patreon members so i think alts have a very good chance of doing some really really cool things if we can get above this eight hour level and also bitcoin dominance starts to break down so those are the two conditions i'm looking for um but yeah so total, total three, this is what we're going with. This is a really, really good interaction, guys. I love seeing this. I love seeing how the eight-hour level was act as resistance. It broke down to it. We got above it, right? This entire structure looks really, really healthy. So ultimately, I want to see it get above here, and I want to see it confirm above here. If we do start showing some bearishness and start dropping, especially if we lose this level, then obviously we're going to have a lot of weakness in the market, and that'd be a very terrifying time, right? Because we definitely can drop a lot further. Um, once again, this is uh, bringing up from the previous video as well. Weekly breaker, we've already bounced from it very strongly. This is a very good, very healthy. This is what you want to see for a continuation higher. Um, also, there's a golden pocket retracement of this increase right here. So ultimately, this we were expecting to act as a strong support, and it has. So now we are pop of the upside, but this weekly breaker is still acting as a major resistance. So ultimately, get above this eight-hour break would be very, very nice. But ultimately, I want to see this uh, weekly breaker get above. But if we are able to reclaim this eight-hour breaker, I think this weekly breaker is going to fall soon after. All right, I think it is that important. Um, let's go ahead and go to the total, already the total three. It's weird. I think it was total one. Let's go total one real quick. 
There we go. So the total one, we have ADR breaker as well. And you guys can see it's a very similar chart, but it is different. Okay, so there's a very similar chart, but it is different. Um, ultimately, um, it's pretty much invalidated. I think this level is not really that important anymore. So the key thing I'm, I'm trying to bring up here is that the uh, total market cap chart is not as clean as the total as a total three chart, right? Total three is very, very clean. The total chart is not, which gives me a lot more confidence right now to trade altcoins as a whole. I'm not necessarily saying to buy altcoins. What I'm saying, though, the altcoins are easier to play at this moment because the total three does look clean. Um, so once we do get some better interactions here, I'll be able to make more assessments. But right now, um, when it comes to Bitcoin, it's a lot of waiting game, just trying to see what's going on. Uh, the, the, the altcoins, I think, is where the most uh, trading can be done at this time. Now, the thing to go over is the uh, DXY. All right, so the DXY, this is the dollar currency index. Essentially, this is the overall strength of the U.S. dollar compared to other assets. Now, when this chart increases, that's bad for crypto. When this chart decreases, it's good for crypto. Okay, so it has an inverse relationship to what we want to see in cryptocurrency. All right, so we want to see this thing drop. Um, we did have a really strong push up, but we also had a really strong rejection. Right, so this is a really good thing. But right now, this three day level is being retested. This three day level is exceptionally important. Okay, this is the key level I'm looking at on this chart. Um, nothing else really gets my mind as clean as this okay so i really want to see it drop below here and i want to see it keep dropping now be aware though we are currently on a support for the us dollar which means that bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are actually at a major resistance level okay so this is actually going to act as a level to hold our price down in cryptocurrency okay and these are some things to show you guys like like it's not as clean as it was a couple days ago. Um, that was a pretty easy play, in my opinion. But right now, we're sort of on uh, on teetering on the edge, okay? Um, there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. And it, even last night, I posted about how I was going to go ahead and start taking some profits on some positions um, simply because the charts are not as clean as what they were a couple days ago, okay? So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and take a hedge. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of my altcoins to the side. Um, just to verify and wait until there's more clarity in the market, right? Um, but uh, yeah, so overall, this is going to be a weakness for Bitcoin, the rest of cryptocurrency. Now, the next thing I talk about over here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Um, I'm not really a stocks guy, but it is pretty um, uncanny that we are currently rejecting off of the 200 moving average. Now we are, we did have a strong buyback today, but understand we're still below the 200 moving average. There's not that many periods of time where we actually are below 200 moving average for a long period of time. So when we do start to trade below it, that's a little bit concerning, right? We haven't really traded below it for a long periods of time until July, right? And we all know what was happening in July of last year. Um, the economy was really uncertain at that point in time. So the, the longer that we do stay below this, the more uh, concerned I become. Now, obviously, we have traded below it. It's not a massive issue, but this, once again, does show uncertainty in the market, uh, which is why I am consider I'm definitely going to be hedging in some capacity some of my altcoins and other positions, all right? Um, outside of that, guys, like the market, it's, it's really uncertain, right? But I'm trying to lay out exactly what to look for, for the, uh, for the, uh, the, the short term and also the medium and long term, right? Um, I'm keeping you guys up to date on discord. I'll uh, just be aware of that. If you guys are not part of the discord, you're seriously, seriously missing out. And not only that, but I have a trading 101 series and all, and when you have moments like this, where there's not a lot of certainty, this is the great, this is the perfect time to really dive into YouTube and really start trading and learning how to trade correctly. Right? So I have a series on here. It's 19 videos. It's probably like 10 hours of content guys, but this is, I would argue some of the best content you are going to find uh, uh, over cryptocurrency trading um, on YouTube. Um, and I do not have any people who have watched the, the series, but everyone who watches the series comes back and thanks me, thanks me, thanks me for all the content I put out. So uh, this is a really, really good series. I would definitely check it out, guys. Um, make sure you guys are on Discord. Make sure you guys check out the Trading 101 series and other content on here. Um, consider joining Patreon, and I'm going to let you guys go. Really do appreciate it, like always. And like always, have a great night. And um, deuces, boys. Have a good one. Bye.